All right, good evening, Cyber Friends. This the Mini Man coming at you again from Walk Studio back here in Studio B and C. We thank God for the journey. Thank God for life, health, and strength. And we want to say Merry Christmas to everyone. Hope that y'all had a very joyous day on today. And uh, thanking God for the for the journey. Thanking Him for it, whether it is. Um, as y'all can see in the title of my video, um, it says that I'm um, telling you about my Zoom recording that I tried. And I tried to do a Zoom recording on last night to demonstrate to demonstrate my new software that I have as well as a new service that I recently subscribed to with uh, Personosphere. It's called Personosphere. In other words, um, all of this, Personas has got all kinds of products. I mean, I got studio monitors. Uh, you can't see them. They're all camera. I got uh, studio monitors from Personas as well as I got a... Um, I, up under this desk here, I got a Personas Box audio interface as well. I got one out there in Walker's Music out there in my main studio. So I really do have two Personas audio boxes. And all of these, are come, this equipment come from, from Personas 1. From Personas. In other words, a very, very, very good audio, uh, professional audio company in my opinion. And so they have a new service, a subscription service called Persona Sphere, and uh, I subscribed to it about a couple of months ago, and I was going to give it a test run and try out. So I was going to use Zoom on last night to demonstrate it, where I could capture my screen on another my, on this PC, and, and then you know, and I wanted to show everybody how it worked and how well it was worth that fourteen ninety five a month that you pay for that subscription. But nevertheless, my friends, as usual, Murphy's Law kicked in. Murphy's Law is if anything can go wrong, you better believe it is. And at the worst possible moment, that Murphy's Law. And so after I had done the whole entire video, Zoom decided that it was not going to convert the video so I could get it in a good MP4 format to upload to YouTube or Facebook. Or both. I was going to upload it to both. So that video is still a work in progress. Uh, I'm going to try it on my old laptop. I did that on the new laptop. That was my first mistake. Because I knew this new laptop really it just suffered on storage space. It doesn't have enough hard drive space. It got an SSD drive, but it's just very limited in the space. It's not a very large one. That's my fault, y'all, because when I bought and I purchased this here laptop, I failed, and that was my fault because I am a computer tech, and I did not. I That was my fault. I did not read the specification on this here laptop before I went and purchased it. I just, my eyes got big at, you know, the speed of it and how great I saw SSD, so I just went and bam, you know. But I guarantee you, Mitty Man won't do that again. And I will get me another. I might just order me another laptop tonight. I, I'm not certain. But nevertheless, I do have one that will work. My old Asus is still going strong. It has some issues. But I got to say, it is the best laptop I got right now. Other than the one out there at Walker's Music out there in my main studio in the pit. Now, that one is a sturdy HP laptop as well i haven't had any trouble with it and it has a lot of storage on it it's from the old school of laptops y'all not these you know, new thing of laptop that those they the new laptop doesn't even have a cd rom or a dvd drive y'all i mean some of you most of you that, that know this already but there may be some of you that do not know that but beware when you buy a new laptop now it's more unlikely you're not going to get a cd and a dvd drive why because they are phasing them out. They are phasing them out. So I just wanted to be the one to warn y'all of this. Many man is, don't have any objections and no problem with anything. I'm going to try to get out of here in the morning and go to church services and uh, do my duty as usual. We thank God for the journey. In other words, I just wanted to come to let y'all know that I did try to do a Zoom um, video of uh, this um, demonstrating and showing 
how great that software and that subscription is with Persona Sphere. And I will try to do it on my other, um, my old Asus. I'm going to try to do it. I know that that Asus will come through for me. I really believe that. So that way I can capture the screen and show y'all the moves on what you have to do with Persona Sphere. It's just to me, I just want to show y'all what I'm using. That's all it is, and it's, I got all access. With this service, you get access to all the Persona software, just about everything they have. And I know that is a that is a great bargain for $14.95, y'all, a month. You cannot beat that, especially if you are into music production like I am. Because right now, I'm working on orchestral piece. Matter of fact, that my, 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 my piano instructor, my, 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 my compositional instructor from my very college days, and y'all, that was almost 30 years ago. And uh, matter of fact, I I um, made mention to my instructor, his name is Dr. Stan Pelzer. Some of you may know him because he's very big in the music. I mean, Dr. Pelzer has, is a giant in music composition. He has written thousands of songs. And some of you may know him. I know all my college buddies know Dr. Dr. Stan Pelzer. But at any rate, it was back in 2017, I believe it was, when this was right after I become a deacon. I had been ordained. I was ordained a deacon in May 28. That was a fourth Sunday, I believe, in in May of 2017. I had not too long, I believe about a couple of months, mentioned to Dr. Pesler that I was going to do an orchestral piece. I have first time I ever had tried my hand at doing on an orchestral piece, and Dr. Pesler sent me. Or uh, at that time, I had a copy of Finale. Finale. And I don't know what happened. I, I lost everything, y'all. I mean, I lost through a hard drive crash. I lost all of my software at one time that I had. And uh, Finale was one of them. But uh, he had sent me a template of the orchestral sketch and everything of, of an orchestral piece he had done. And he sent me the the template to go by as far as the staff arrangements and all that there. And I had that, but it was in finale format. I still have those, but I don't have uh, finale anymore. So I have to see now, do see my, my software with Studio One is called Notion 6. Same thing like uh, finale. It's the same thing. Matter of fact, it's a very, very powerful notation program in itself. I have to see, can I convert the um, the file that Dr. Pezzo sent me and use it inside of Notion? If I can, then I'm good to go. If not, then I'm going to just have to go and start fresh with it, make my own template, and then we got to go because I will and shall do that orchestral piece. That's what I was aiming to try to start on, uh, going on a little further with it. I have started on it in uh to let y'all know that I've not been, I've not just had it idle all this time, but I've been really working on it. And as I said, when I, when I, this back in 2017, this was before I became ill, y'all. And right after I, y'all, uh, right after that, I got the templates and the everything and it had told my, my former instructor, Dr. Pepper, that I was going to start working. I got sick that very next year. And that put that set me back a lot, a lot, and um, didn't feel like doing nothing, y'all. Really, I had, I had to go through a few things. Only God knows. And uh, but nevertheless, I'm back to a degree, and I feel pretty good. I have good days and bad days. The days, oh, one of the days that I was in between. I, you know, I wasn't, I wasn't too high, but I, and I wasn't too low, but I was sort of like right along here. Steady as she goes, that Captain Kirk would say, but nevertheless, I I didn't feel my best, but I had, but I didn't feel my worst either. It was just one of them days. But nevertheless, uh, we will try to do that video, that Zoom recording where I can demonstrate what Persona Sphere will do, and I will upload it to YouTube as well as Facebook. So y'all stand by for that. Uh, we give God the praise, y'all. We give him all the glory as usual. We thank him for as well as it is. We dare not have anything. I told, just like I told everybody back in 2018, that a appreciation program that my third Sunday church at that time gave me, Pleasant Grove AME Church, we give them a shout out.
for a great program that they gave me up there that appreciation. Back in 2018, it was right after Hurricane Michael came through. I mean, very right after Michael came through, they gave me this program because I got sick that same year. I was in recovery, and uh, I had a lot of issues going on, but nevertheless, they Pleasant Grove AME Church with the president of the choir at the time, was Christine Hope. Pastor is uh, Reverend Stephanie Walton. Y'all know her. Some of you local, you know her. And her husband, a buddy of mine, Jesse Walton, and uh, they gave me an outstanding program back in 2018. And when, when I, they got me up to uh, make some remarks at the end of the program, and I mean, I had an excellent, I mean, that was a, that was a great, great program that I, they gave me. And I, it was full of people, and no one left. That's what was so strange about it. Everybody stayed from start to finish. And you know, like sometimes when, back in the day when we used to have choir verse, we had so many choirs there, a lot of choirs would sing and then they would leave. Not in this case with my appreciation program that, that year, y'all. They sang and they sat down, they stayed. Everybody stayed, no one left. And it was a marvelous program. And I want to thank Pleasant Grove AME pastors and choir president, as well as all the members for such an outstanding program that year really made my day. And what I did was, I, when I got up to make my remarks, I, this is a statement that I made to everybody, and I will make it right here, then I'm going to end this video. I told them about the situation that I had been through in the hospital, and what the, you know, the spirit came to me while I was in the hospital. Now, I didn't see no big drum beating and all that kind of stuff like that, and all the spirit revealed in my mind. Ask me a question. Ask me, was I mad at anybody? I told y'all this before, and I couldn't, say, I couldn't say nothing but no. He said, well, you can continue to be doing this. You can continue that. That's what the Spirit said. It spoke very softly. said, you can continue to be that. And so I told everybody, everybody at that church, and they are my witnesses. I told them that many man, or I would say not Deacon Walker, because I was a deacon then at that time. I ain't mad at nobody. Uh-uh. I'm not mad at nobody. I done been through too much. I have seen too much. I have seen God move in my life only. I ain't talking about other people's life. I've seen God move in my life miraculously, and I've seen what he can do. I done seen my body heal right in front of my own eyes in almost real time, y'all. And the people that work with me, all my great nurses and doctors I had, thank God for them. Jesus, thank God for them. And I got enough sense to know not to be mad at anybody. And I'm going to tell y'all something. I'm going to give y'all a little piece of advice. This is for free. It doesn't pay you to be mad at people. Because people are not worried about you being mad. you just upset and they're going to yet be doing exactly what they are doing. No one cares about you being mad. So why not just go on and enjoy yourself? Even if you have to be by yourself, enjoy yourself. Don't worry about what the other fella is doing. That was my grandmama, God bless her. Leola Walker used to always tell us kids, when we were growing up, she would tell us and say, stop worrying about the other fella. You just do what you're supposed to do. See, y'all, I can't help how people treat me. I can't help that. That's on them. But I can help how I treat them. See, in other words, the Bible called it self-control. Self-control. I can only control many man. I can't control you. When I try to control you, the Bible called that something. And it's called witchcraft. When you try to control other people in their life through means of witchcraft. Now, we got a lot of people, they go to two head folk trying to make somebody love them. You know what? If you don't love me, go on. Bye. I'm going to tell you like my grandmama used to say. You look better going than you did coming. So, you know, just help yourself go on, honey, because God got something better for me awaiting. So anybody that want to leave you, your life, let them go. Let them go. God got something better coming for you if you just be still. Like the, uh, the Reverend Timothy Fleming out in Atlanta at Mount Carmel Missionary Baptist Church. He had a song he sang years ago. said, be still. God will fight your battle. That's an old song anyway, y'all. That's an old song they used to sing in the old, the old black church. Be still. God will fight your battle. God will fight your battle if you just be still. And see, some of us won't be still. We, When people do you wrong, don't get to cussing and fussing and 
and griping and caring on all. You ain't doing nothing but making yourself upset. And you still ain't got nothing. Just give it, take your pretension to the law in prayer. God will fight your battle if you just keep still. When Moses had the children of Israel down the Red Sea, Red Sea in front of the mountains on both sides and Pharaoh in the back, they couldn't go nowhere but straight forward through that sea. But Moses told them to be still and see the salvation of the Lord. And that's what we need to do. But some of us, we won't be quiet long enough. You be trying to, people be trying to give you the answer. God be trying to talk to you. And then he let other people come into your life and they be telling you the same thing. And you still don't listen. You just keep on stepping in the same pile of, you know what? I won't say that word. I'll be, I'll give y'all no respect, but you know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. We keep on, in other words, I had a buddy in Atlanta. I had a buddy in Atlanta. And I, I wonder sometimes if he's still alive and living. But his name was Booker T. Emmons. His name was Booker T. Emmons. And y'all just going to have to excuse this expression, but y'all excuse it this one time because this is exactly what he said. He was an uh, 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 Air Force vet. He was an Air Force vet. And uh, he used to call me Ernie. He's Ernie. I tell you about most people. This is, what he, this is his exact word, and I do quote. So y'all going to judge me now because I'm looking for the emails to come. But you know what? I ain't made it to heaven yet, and neither have you. But this is what his exact word was. Booker T. Emerson used to tell me, he's earning. Most people are like this, you know. When you try to, they try to step over the piss and step right in a big pile of shit. That's exactly what he used to say, unquote. Now I'm back to me. But that's exactly what he said. We, we, we won't let well enough alone. I got a cousin, Reverend Michael Walker, said the same thing years ago. I know we'll forget it. We was at a gospel writer program at Mount Nebo. That's when I was playing at Mount Nebo down here below me in Morgan, Georgia. And we were back in the back in the center, in the in the in the in the, in the, in the, in the sort of like um, I guess you would call it the the the, the uh, kitchen area, if you want to call it that. But at any rate, we was all back there with all the preachers that were going to preach that night. And uh, I know we'll forget the conversation we had. And Reverend Walker made this statement, some people will not let well enough alone. Y'all, that is so true. Sometimes we need to leave well enough alone. But at any rate, I'm going to end this video right here. But y'all, I'm going to say it like this here in, in, in light of the Christmas season. I'm, uh, I'm going to tell everybody to enjoy yourself the best you can. If you don't have nothing but a Cornish hen, enjoy your hen. Don't worry about not having the big turkey or the ham. If you got a little Cornish hen, make sure that you enjoy that. This is Middle Man saying, whatever you get, whatever you get into it. God ain't in it, get out of it. Because you're going to come to nothing. Till the next video, next Bible study, whichever comes first. This is Middle Man saying, peace and good evening.